are Guilford County and Greensboro's first distillery. We um, are a family-owned business. It's my wife, myself, Andrew and Leslie, our children, that make up uh, Fainting Goat Spirits. We make vodka, we make gin, we make a smoked single malt whiskey, we make a straight rye whiskey, and we make a bourbon. About eight years ago, we went on a family vacation to Seattle. We visited distilleries for the first time, and in the tour in the back, as an executive chef for 18 years, I looked at all of that equipment and thought, hell, I could do this. This is what uh, equipment I've worked with in professional kitchens and commercial kitchens for the last 20 years. And so we decided at that point we were going to open a distillery at some point and begin producing products that we could actually put our stamp on. We get here at 6 in the morning, we start grinding this grain, which is I understand why people don't do it. It is hard and a lot of work. The idea of grain to glass really gives us a lot of pride. You know, we're not going to take any shortcuts. We're not going to do the easy way. It is important that our end product is all ours and we have a hand and a, and a way to shape it in every single step of that process. It's important to us that we know how it's made and it really hopefully shows up at the, uh, the end result there in the bottle. Distilled, produced, fermented in Greensboro, North Carolina. That's incredibly important to us and everybody really seems to be getting behind it and really could not have asked for a better reception. You know, having had a business here for the last 18 years, we want the distillery to be a big part of that community as well. We want it to be larger than that though because we want it to be something that's there for our children and our grandchildren.